Happy New Year. It's James Hackley, author of the best-selling book, Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening. And I hope you stop by to visit us at www.jameshackley.com. Now, today is the first day of January 2013, and a lot's been put on my heart. I've been blogging big time. I have different blogs that I just put out today uh, about your vision plan or uh, about the prosperity in 2013 and also uh, losing weight. Again, that's one of the top uh, resolutions that folks make. But today's video is basically about do you have a vision plan for 2013? The scriptures, Habakkuk uh, 2, uh, 2 in particular, tells us to write a vision on the tablets and make it plain so he may run who reads it. And bottom line is to not just to kind of think and just kind of speculate what we want to do in 2013. We need to start getting in the habit and the discipline of writing things down that we want to accomplish. And here's a little tidbit. God doesn't really recognize New Year resolutions. God recognizes decrees and declarations. So if there are things that we want to do in 2013, we have to be specific. We have to go out and decree these things and declare these things uh, in the name of Jesus in order to make things work. Now, case in point, as I said, New Year, folks make resolutions. They want to lose weight get healthy, uh, be prosperous, but those are kind of vague terms. So I encourage folks to really be specific. Now what I have behind me, it's a bit big, but this is a vision board. A lot of folks are doing vision boards, so I encourage you to, to start thinking at the before the end of the week to sit, some, sit down with some scissors, magazines, or just with a pen and pad to come up with some things that you want to accomplish for 2013 because if we don't put goals, concrete goals out there, a lot of times we'll just wander, wander, and at the end of the year we look back and we haven't really accomplished anything. Why? It's because we didn't set waypoints up for the year. You know, my personal story, when I was just 12 years old, you know, I'm a poor country boy from Culpeper, Virginia, so grew up in a house, uh, two-bedroom trailer, very cramped, uh, no running water, no plumbing, so I did not want that condition to continue generation after generation. So I actually sat down out of uh, one day, pulled out a piece of paper, and it was long before the days of PCs and, and notebooks and things of that nature and tablets. Sat down longhand, just wrote a list. These are the things I want out of life. I can remember clearly as if it were yesterday. The number one thing on that list was I wanted a Doberman Pinscher. Now, today's society, pit bulls are the most popular dog out there, but back in the day, Back, back, back in the day, everyone wanted a dopamine venture. So that was the number one thing on my list. After that, I wanted to graduate from, from high school. Then I wanted to graduate from college. After graduating from college, I wanted to go out and own my own home. As I said, you know, I was a poor guy, I grew up in a trailer. So uh, just having a three-bedroom uh, rambler with uh, two baths, I thought that was a castle. That was a mansion. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have, own my own home. I wanted to get a six-figure salary and get married and to have kids. That was my list. You know, I figured if I did that, I would be a successful person. And glory be to God, those things have long since come to pass. And now as I sit today, age 47, having looked back on all the accomplishments, you know, we never stop dreaming. We never stop aspiring for new things. So now my vision board, my list as a 47-year-old guy, it's a bit different. And it shows maturity. It shows my improved relationship with God. As a matter of fact, one of the number one things that I want to do on my new vision board is to be able to give a six figure tithe to the church. You know, when I was a young kid, I was just thinking about a six figure income. But now I'm thinking I really in my heart of hearts, I want to give a six figure tithe to my church. If I'm giving a six figure tithe with this 10 percent, then that means I want to also make at least a million dollars a year. Uh, I want to uh, be just uh, have an excellent example of a Christian, a father, a brother, a son, an uncle or a friend. Uh, these are the things on my on my list. And also, you know, I have a dream home. You know, God has blessed me with an incredible home that I'm currently filming this video in, in the basement right now. But there's nothing keeps me from dreaming even higher, bigger, better things. As a matter of fact, about a month ago, it was a gated community not too far. $4.5 million estate that's currently on foreclosed. So I took my daughter. We walked around that place, and I'm claiming that. So those are the things on my vision board those are the things I want for a future. And as you, you know, listen to this story, you can see that it's not just kind of nebulous. There. These thoughts aren't unclear. They aren't vague. Very specific on what I want. Because when we're specific about these things, then we know exactly what we have to do to start putting our ducks in a row. So 2013, I encourage you to sit down, either get a pen, paper, or since we're a computer generation, sit down at your laptop, your desktop, or pull out your 
your uh, tablet and just write down that these are the concrete, finite things that you want to do in 2013. And when you write that list, share it with friends, friends that you trust, friends that you respect, so they can hold you accountable for the list of things that you put out there as well. So, as always, I encourage you to stop by and visit me at uh, www.jameshackley.com and let me know when you've uh, done your list. As a matter of fact, also send me an email to info, I-N-F-O, at jameshackley.com. Uh, thanks uh, yet again for your attention and thanks for supporting uh, Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening. This book, it's a self-published thing and it's selling around the world. It's helping folks change lives. So thank you very much for supporting that. Until next time, God bless.